Hello fellow Sudokans and welcome to Zen and the Art of the Guardian Sudoku Puzzle. It's Sunday the 21st of May 2023 and welcome to the Observer Sudoku Puzzle and I can tell you that it is an easy level game today, very easy actually. So if you're a beginner, welcome aboard. And uh, how do I know that? Because I had just completed the game in about 14 minutes and uh, um, unfortunately, it didn't record. I have no idea why it just didn't record. So um, I will. I, I did explain the, the rules because I had a feeling it might turn out to be an easy level game. I did explain the rules at the beginning. I will do that again for you before I start replaying this game. But I tell you that it is a game that beginners can enjoy without a doubt. Um, what's happening in the news? I'll repeat myself. I hate repeating myself, but you didn't hear it the first time around. Uh, Martin Amos. Martin Amos has died, 73 years of age, a famous British novelist and son of Kingsley Amos, a well-known novelist also. It must be difficult, like uh, if your father is good at something and you have to uh, try to outshine them maybe, but I think he did. I was a brilliant, brilliant writer reading his books, his books in the 80s. And also uh, in the 90s, when we used to have, in Bangkok, we used to have a British Council Library here. Unfortunately, the British government wanted to save money and they cut a lot of British Council stuff. I think, uh, I can't remember if it was Blair or John Major. I can't really remember which one of them did it, but um, one of them decided to like chop down the embassy here in Bangkok and chop down the British Council. They sold off the, they got the cash, got a huge amount of cash and just wasted it. Uh, it was really short-sighted. Uh, British Council was uh, was did did a great job here. They had a great library, a marvelous library. Um, that I used to use, um, you know, for, uh, imported British, um, well, not just British, but uh, you know, books from all over the world actually. But it was really a very good library, just like a library back in the UK actually. And they don't really exist here in Thailand. Uh, the only exception where you can find libraries is if you are in a university and you are a faculty member or something like that, you can get your hands on some good books. But um, then again, they're still not, oh, quite often they're still not that good. Um, so anyway, yes, uh, I, I thought he was a great writer, I must say. And I have been quite um, annoyed recently to see some kind of people, I think, are poking criticism at him which was really uh, undeserved I thought that he was a good writer and sometimes you know there are critics who want to make a name for themselves as somebody that's critical do you know like rather like these people who go on social media and say yeah, something outrageous. outrageous they may not leave it but they, they just want likes like. and shares and be, a bit of notoriety or something like that and I have a feeling that some critics were a bit like that about him Martin Amos. I also noted <laughs> that today is the 21st of May, which would have been my dad's birthday, and he died many, many years ago. Um, but uh, the typical of me and my dad, we hated, my dad and I hated each, uh, each other's tastes, and he was a Kingsley Amos fan, and I was a Martin Amos fan, and that's about, I, mean, I know it's an easy game, but <laughs> for some reason I didn't do any of this last time, I just kind of went to the number. Well, believe me, believe me. Because, because you see the evidence. Never believe, believe anything it. without evidence. Right, we have eights going up here, up here, and across here. That's going to be an eight in that square there. Eight down here, down here, and across here will give me an eight in that square there. Nine across here means that that's going to be a nine. Then we have nines going up here and up here. That will give me a nine in that square. And we only have one more number to get here, which is a two. So the two goes up here and down there. So that's going to be a two in that square there. Um. It's it's so weird that actually I seem to have more stuff. I got this stuff very quickly down here. That I don't know why though. <laughs> it's strange. You would imagine it would be much easier the second time around, um, um, because it's such an easy game. But actually, weirdly, it's taking me longer to see the digits. Three is in that square because of this three blocking up there, right? Okay, missing numbers down here are three and uh. Five 
and missing numbers down here are uh, four and six. So we've got the four blocking across here. Give me the four and the six. We'll, we'll go there. Um, can we go further with the digit ones yet? Uh, no, I don't think so. Can we go further with the digit twos at this point? Um, no, don't see it as I as the digits lie now. Three, four. There we go. Fours across like this, and four up there. That gives me the four in that square four down here and four down there there we go four there and we'll finish this row with um a three um Four's going up here and across there like so. Four blocks here, there's a four. And the missing number here is a six. <laughs> this is so funny. This is really funny. I I I think I'd almost finished the game by this point the first time around, and now it's kind of uh, eluding me. Okay, we've got two up here and two across here. So here's the two, two blocking down here, down here. There's the two. Uh, we ah. Okay, so one blocks across here. That means that one must be in one of these squares here, blocking all the way down. That will give me a one here, and a seven will finish here. Okay, then we have the seven blocking up here. So seven has to be in one of these two squares. So blocking across here like this, seven blocking across here, seven up, and seven up will give us a seven in that square there. We have seven and nine blocking up this column here, so we know that these two squares must be seven and nine only. And that means that here we're looking for one, three, and six. This has to be seven, nine. We've got seven, nine blocking up here, and so this is seven and nine. So these squares contain only one, three, or six, and we've got three and six in the same row, so one must appear there. Then we've got the ones blocking like this and up here and up here like that which is going to give us a one in that square there we have fives going across like this and a five up there so there's our five and the last number here is a two we have twos going down up and across like so that's going to place a two in that square uh, that's finished one two and four one two and four are all completed digits we have it, all of the ones twos and fours that we can find uh, so we're looking for the others let's see what else we're looking for Five down here, five up here, five across here. Here is our five, five blocks that way. Here's a five, and the last number here is a three. S 
6 across here and 6 up here. Here is our 6. 6 across here and 6 up here. Here is our 6. Uh, we can get this square here. All we have to do is see what's missing from here, and then there will only be one number left, right? So, I mean, for example, in these two squares, we don't yet have a 3 or a 7. Now, in fact, we can place them three blocks up here. So there's a 3, and there's a 7. But even if we didn't know which was which, we would still only have one empty square, and that has to be a 9. Then we have 9 blocking up here and up here, which will give us the 9 in that square and we have the 7 blocking up here which will give us the 7 there and uh, okay there's one number missing here um, it's a 3 I believe okay then we have 3's blocking up like this and here's a 3 3 back this way here's another 3 the last number to place here is a 6 six blocks across here and up here or just up here is good enough six will go there one number left for this row uh, which is uh, nine and the missing number here is an eight eight blocks up here so that's our eight and then we just need a nine to finish now i do hope this is recorded um that was, that was definitely not the, the solve this time around around and where i, ex where I explained it, but I guess, guess the way the cookie crumbles. Sudoku wise. See you another time. Bye bye. Oh no.